Hey guys, it's Squall and I'm back bringing you another Windows 8 review and tutorial. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a comment from below. Does Windows 8 work with uh, gaming? And to start, I'd like to say it does. It works very well. Uh, I've been playing video games on it for the last week and a half, two weeks, and I've found that it runs them better. Windows 8 is actually lighter on the hardware than Windows 7. The start screen, does it affect gaming? Absolutely not. Uh, Steam has been bashing the the Metro uh, start screen, and that's what Windows is calling it, is the Metro start screen. Uh, I'm going to continue to just call it the start screen. I don't really like the word Metro. Personally, it doesn't sit well with me. I don't know why, but uh, we're just going to keep using the term start screen on here. Uh, one of the things I think they're worried about, and this is all opinion, uh, nothing... Uh, you know, the Steam guy didn't call me up and tell me this, uh, but uh, I think they're worried about the store, the marketplace. Um, in the marketplace, there is a an area where you can download games, and that's Steam's territory. Um, they they want to distribute games through their their interface, and I believe that uh, they they probably wanted in on some of the this um, in w within the marketplace. And right now, um, Windows is keeping it tight um, to their their system and their setup. Um, I don't see how the feature uh, goes. I really don't know. Um, will Windows start offering a an app or offering Steam to produce apps within their their marketplace? I don't see why not. Um, will it happen soon? I don't know. Um, one of the questions was, does Steam work on my Windows 8 PC? And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a real quick install, uh, and uh, we're going to go to the Steam website real quick and. We're going to go to install. I'm going to show you how easy and quickly this, this is. Uh, I'm running a Windows 8 PC, and if you guys aren't sure, you guys obviously can see my Metro-style screen. But uh, just for giggles, we're going to go to PC Info and Windows 8 Pro. There you go. So we're going to now save the file. We're going to open the file. And I'm going to go ahead and close my Windows since I'm done with that. And we're going to see how quickly and easily this drops into Windows 8. Uh, cable, answer a few questions. I'm definitely not Dutch. Uh, English, yes I am. Uh, program files, install. User account control says, do you want to install? And I say yes. We finish this up and it is now updating and Steam is on my desktop. Uh, the start screen in my opinion is really cosmetic. Um, it's there to offer a frictionless um, user-friendly experience for your average Windows user. Um, most gamers, um, we're going to jump in here and, you know, I'm going to be honest, um, the gamers of today are starting to age. We're all starting to get a little older and uh, and, and that's going to continue to happen. And um, some older people don't like new. Me, personally, I love the new. I, I wouldn't say I'm an old guy, but, you know, I, I, I know... Um, a lot of people don't like new things. Uh, in fact, uh, my wife's grandmother is probably one of the 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 one person I know that doesn't like anything new. Um, but uh, if you want something refreshing, Windows 8 is refreshing to me. If you're used to using your cell phone, used to using Xbox, uh, you'll find it comfortable and easy to use. You can still use your start screen. Uh, as you can see, I have my icons there just fine. And um, you can pin them just like as you would. And you can only you only have to use the start, start screen if you want to. Um, you know, there's gonna if you get to using it, you're gonna find that it works really well. Um, and and I find that it works well. When I go in here, I have uh, apps that I enter a lot and quickly. And if I want to find one that I'm that I'm not sure where it's at, like my Notepad, all I have to do is start typing, and there it is. So I just don't see there being an issue um, in the future. I think that uh, maybe Steam is upset that they don't have um, unique access to the marketplace right now. Will it come in the future? I think so, uh, for sure. We don't know. Nobody knows. But as of right now, you can jump into um, your user experience really easily. Uh, I mean, your Steam account really easily. Let's uh, let's go ahead and log in. Make sure everything works really well. Oh, let's enter my name right, <laughs> and then my password. We're gonna log in. We we'll make sure this runs, uh, starts up, and runs well. And uh, let's see. Connecting to my Steam account, 
And this is the first time I'm loading it uh, uh, since install, so it takes a second. I've had in this installed before, so uh, I do know that this works. And there we go. Steam. Um, games install pretty frictionless, I guess, is since I used that term earlier. Um, you know, I had a little bit of issue with my Minecraft um, when I went to the update. Um, uh, personally, I don't think that was anything to do with Windows 8. Um, you know, with any new operating system, drivers can uh, can be an issue, or not an issue. You have to update your drivers. Whenever you're going to get a Windows operating system, drivers are going to need updated. When Minecraft let out their 1.4 update, I had to update the drivers for my graphics card not an issue. Uh, if you're an avid gamer then you're probably a tech savvy guy and, and you probably know. If you're not uh, it's pretty easy once you find out uh, how to do it. Um, that was my review on uh, does Windows 8 work for gaming um, and if you have any questions go ahead and put them down below. Uh, keep an eye out on my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, series called uh, Review That App um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some apps out of the marketplace going to play with them. We're going to install them and uh, we're gonna see how they work. Um, I'm probably gonna do two types. Um, one, I'm gonna do my favorite apps, uh, probably top five apps uh, of the month or of the week. Um, we'll see how that goes. And then I'm also gonna do one where I take um, uh, comments from you guys. What apps do you want me to open up and see? And what we'll do is uh, we'll jump on here, we'll throw the recording on, and we'll go install those apps for the first time try them out and uh, you guys will try them out with me we'll see how they work and we'll see how they they the they install and how they open and everything else and uh, that will get you guys involved and hopefully you guys you guys will uh, like that uh, that series if you like this series uh, please like and favorite the video and also subscribe to my channel I uh, hope to see you guys come back and uh, thanks for all the comments and likes below on the last video see you guys next time